Have you ever had your files missing or corrupted? Have you ever been frustrated because you can't find your data? In this case, you are probably looking for software that will successfully recover your data. And in this video, we will teach you how to use data recovery software and restore your data, your documents, images, videos, audio files, and even more. Such kind of software restores your data so you can use it regularly again. We have decided to use a program called Windows Data Recovery. Hey guys, this is Venti at Sensors Tech Forum. I'm going to show you in this video how to recover your data. Uh, to begin with, we have uh, decided to do this by using data recovery software. We're going to use this program, but bear in mind there is a variety of free as well as licensed programs out there which you can use. Uh, we have uh, uploaded the link to this software in the description below. But then again, you can choose from many programs. Of course, Google is your friend. So after you've downloaded the software, uh, just go ahead and click on run and it's going to start the setup. Now the setup, the setup is pretty simple. Basically, it has your standard license agreement, which you can read and you can click on accept. After you do that, just go ahead and click on next and choose the location of the folder and then click on next again. After you do this, it's going to ask you whether or not you want to create a desktop icon and then it's the install button. Nothing too complicated. After you've finished the setup, it's going to ask you whether or not you want to launch the software. So yeah, let's launch it. Alright, so this is the program. As you can see, with this software, you have drive recovery, CD, DVD, photo, and email recovery options. We're going to go ahead and work with drive recovery option. Uh, but before we do that, let's go to settings and click on add file types. Now, this is very useful. This allows you to remove the file extensions which you are not looking for and to add those, add those which you are looking for. Many programs have this and make sure you look for it. It's very useful. After you select the extensions, click on OK and then select Drive Recovery. OK, now we see the partitions which you want to scan. We're going to go ahead and choose the C partition. And here we see that this software has four different options with which you can work with. Uh, we're going to head and work with the advanced recovery options uh, because it's useful. And we're going to select NTFS file partition because this is the newer format. So, uh, after you have uh, selected it, it's going to start scanning your data. We're going to pause this video. Alright, so after it scanned for your data and it recovered it, here you're going to see the different files that have been recovered. All you got to do right now is just select them and click, click on the recover button. And after you do that, you're going to see two options your local drive and to an FTP server. This is a remote location so you're just going to have to enter your IP address and password. Now, to a local drive you have the options to recover, to zip each file individually or to zip uh, everything to a single file. We're going to zip everything to a single file just to show you how it works. After you do this, just select browse button and it's going to ask you where do you want to recover the data. Now we're going to recover it at D guys because at C we just are not authorized to do that because this is the drive you've scanned so yeah make sure you have more than one partitions or an external usb drive memory stick to recover it on if you cannot recover it because you cannot recover it on c okay so after you do this you can see that the software has started to recover the files we're gonna pause the video once more to save you some time And after this has done, has been done, you're gonna see a lock. This lock will display you each and every file that has been recovered and a bit more information about it. All right, so there you go. Now you have managed to recover your files if you did everything correctly. And the same principle works with other data recovery software as well. Uh, if the files are in an archive, you can extract them and work with them. Now, guys, bear in mind that you mustn't format your hard drive if you're going to reuse data recovery software. 
And some files may not be recovered successfully because uh, each and every file that has been deleted is saved in the sectors of the hard drive. So yeah, that's all for, that's all for me. And As a bonus, Gary is going to show you how to find any hidden file using a trick in Windows Search. Hey guys, I'm Gary from Sensors Tech Forum and I will show you how to find hidden files with Windows Search tool. I will do this in Windows 7 but for the newer versions of Windows systems the steps are the same. So press and hold Windows button then press R. In the field type explorer.exe. And from the menu in the left select computer or what stands for your system. In the top right corner type file extension double dot. When you do this, type the extension, for example. Now you see all files with this extension in your computer. If you remember the file name or just the keyword of it, type it after the extension and wait for the results. When there is result, you can click on it and check for its exact location. We hope that this video has helped you and if so, give us a like. And if you have anything that you want us to do a video about, for example you are having a tech problem with something, do not forget to ask us by leaving a comment.